we will look at formatting of output using the SQL plus client that is delivered by Oracle out of the box. Here I am using an SQL plus 12C client but it doesn't matter which version you use. The client could be 12C, 11G or 10G. The database version could be 12C, 11G or 10G. These commands work in all of these versions. They even work as far back as 9 and 8, versions 9 and version 8. So let me run a query on the employees table. Employees table has 107 rows to display but these column headings are appearing very frequently in the output. So they are wasting a lot of real estate in the output. If I were to print this as a report, it would not be very readable because these headings appear too frequently in the output. And this is because of the default behavior that column headings appear at every page. And the page size is configured by default as 14 lines. So every 14 lines is going to waste so many lines just reprinting the column headings. So if I want to run a query and I want to see m more than a couple of rows, I need a larger page size. So let me set the page size to 500. Okay, I run exactly the same query again. And now I can see that the rows are displayed without the column headings reappearing. All 107 rows are displayed and the column headings appear only once. at the beginning of the disp of the output. I'm just scrolling up right through the whole output here. I set page size to 500 and I run, run my query and the column headings have appeared only once. They do not need to reappear because the entire output is less than 500 lines including column headings. But we can see here that every row is split into multiple lines. Every row got split into three lines because the row is larger than the line size. So there's another specification called line size in SQL plus, which is 80 characters. So if I were to run a query like this, I can see that the last column that appears in the output unfortunately had to split to a new line because these columns put together are exceeding 80 lines, 80 characters in a line. So what I could do is I could change the line size as well. Run exactly the same query again and now I see every row is one line because all the columns put together in any row do not exceed 132 characters. So now I've used page size to ensure that the column headings appear only once per page and the page is very large, very long. And I used line size to ensure that a row does not split across into multiple lines. Now this character mode display that I have is probably only 132 lines or 132 characters but I could spool to a spool file with maybe even 200 characters per line. So that you could see if you were to spool to a spool file and if you know how to use VI commands, you can see where the line break occurs. Here the line break occurs at 132 characters. There's another formatting option which you can use, something called top title. If I specify a top title and I run my query and then I look at the output, just as the column headings appear at the beginning of every page, the top title also appears at the beginning of every page. The top title that I specified as list of employees also implicitly includes a date and a page number. Let's play around with the page size. Let's make the page size 40 and then run the query again. And now I have four pages. Remember 40 lines per page, those lines include the lines which are lost for this column 
headings column names blank lines in between and all and the top title so all those additional lines are part of the 40 lines per page so it's not 40 rows of output it's 40 lines per page but now i can see with the page size of 40 the page number that appears in the title also appears on every page page one here page two here and so on page three and page four so this allows me to print uh, create a printable output where the title is repeated at the beginning of every page I can also have a bottom title now the bottom title appears at the end of every page now if you will notice let's look at the first few pages this is the first page after the bottom title is specified so you have page number one as top title and then here's the bottom title report output on the as a 40th line in the output then page 2 page page 2 has a bottom title page 3 has a bottom title but you see page 4's bottom title appears here after so many blank lines that's because the page size is still 40 lines so the bottom title appears at the 40th line position another feature is the number of rows being selected by default Oracle will give you feedback on the number of rows if six or more rows are selected if I query for less than six rows let me just clear the bot uh, bottom title Okay, so I have cleared the bottom title with B title off. So the bottom title does not appear. Now if I want the feedback for only one row, select employee ID first name, last name, salary, phone number from employees where employee ID between one and one not five. So here I have few only a few rows. The top title appears properly, but it doesn't show me how many rows were retrieved because the feedback is configured as six or more rows. So if we set feedback to one, then even if one row is selected, it will show me number of rows selected. So here there are five rows selected earlier with feedback of six. It did not show me how many rows were selected. Now, if I set feedback to one, that is one or more co rows qualified, then I see the number of rows being retrieved. For columns, I can specify formatting as well. So column, salary, Now in this case, I'm seeing a format for the column. You can see the columns by default appear just as they are simple numbers. But now I can specify where I want the comma, the thousands indicator here, and a decimal positions. And I also want an alternative heading. This is different from the alias that you can specify in SQL. In SQL, you can specify an alias for a column. Here I'm specifying in heading for the output that is being printed. So I run the same query again, and I can see the salary because of the format clause and the heading and now it's a new heading and it's formatted the way I want it to be formatted with commas for the decim for the thousands and two decimal places as well you will notice by default numbers are right justified characters are left justified in SQL plus okay so that is the default behavior as well uh, is there anything I can s else I can specify? If I were to specify, for example, first name. F 
for an alphanumeric or a date I can say format A and this length and when I run the query I can see that the first name is formatted to 8 characters and a unique name that is longer than 8 characters gets wrapped to a second line to an additional line so that is a bit of a risk but I can use this to reduce the total size of the output so here Alexander fits into exactly 9 characters if you scroll up here you can see there were so many blank spaces because this was mapped to the database column specifications now this output that is printed is mapped to the column specification in SQL plus so you can override the database column definition by specifying the column specification either the format here format A9 or format numeric or heading so these are various ways of formatting things all of these format settings are lost whenever I exit from SQL plus so if I were to exit from SQL plus and log in again I can see that everything is lost my page size is lost column headings reappear my line size is lost my column formatting is lost so all of these are lost if I exit from SQL plus and re-enter if I want to save them I can save them in a script file and if my script file is called login.sql it is automatically executed by Oracle whenever I start SQL plus let me see so you can see the line size page size has been set even the column settings has been set if I say just specify the command call it shows me all the column settings the ones that I have set explicitly are displayed here at the top and the ones which are implicitly set by Oracle automatically are also displayed so the number of columns which Oracle automatically configures for me but these are the ones that I have set explicitly I can show them just by specifying call and I can clear all the column settings if I want with clear calls okay so now if I run the query you can see the first name last name are now formatted as, as I wanted them any first name that exceeds the format specifier that I had given now wraps to a second line and the last name now has many more characters assigned to it you can see last name were fewer characters earlier I don't think I have their output here yeah, this is how first name and last name were appearing this bit speaking up the database definition now it's picking up the definition that I have specified for the last name much longer last name much shorter first name and of course I could have used TTI and BTI as well in my login.sql but then TTI and BTI will be always set I might not want to do that for every script I might want to explicitly define it differently for a different uh, query so query in employees has a different top title than a query on departments so these are all the various options if you do a show all there are many other things you can configure in SQL plus so let me just show you another one for example set SQL prompt it's here SQL prompt you can see how it is set I can set it to SQL. 
and that's it my SQL prompt has also changed so there are other settings term out uh, uh, which shows whether terminal display should be done or not that's useful when you want to spool to a spool file and not display on the terminal then we have whether you want to trim characters to the right of the last character up to the end of the line that's trim spool so there's many things you can do in SQL plus you should look at the SQL plus reference for all of these commands pause is very useful let me show you the pause command I'm running this query it's 107 rows if I set page size 20 okay and then I set so it's uh, and then I set pause on it pauses at every page it stops at 20 lines waits for me to hit the enter I can also say set pause okay then when I run the query for every 20 lines it gives me a prompt which is press enter because of my set pause press enter okay so I encourage you to look at this and see what you can play around with be very ca careful with things like auto commit the proper behavior of a tool is not to auto commit if you really want to auto commit that that means every DML is committed automatically and you don't have an option to roll back a DML so don't use auto commit unless you really really know what you are what you're doing with the auto commit so auto commit I would recommend that you leave it off because it allows you the option of doing a rollback in case you make a mistake but the other options you can try playing around with thank you